All right, hello everyone, and uh, peace of Christ to all of you. Today we will talk about some news. Uh, the video will be short, not long, just to make a comment about what is going on. Um, if we go in the news, we hear or we see in the news that Trump is uh, speaking of uh, moving uh, the USA embassy to uh, Jerusalem. Now, <clears throat> we know that uh, Trump, he spoke about this during his election, uh, but uh, you know, I don't know even why he keep talking about it. He should just uh, should do it. So uh, you know, he's making phone calls, and I don't see really any reason for that. If he is, um, I mean, serious about doing what he's doing. However, I hope he is serious and he will do it. <clears throat> now, uh, right away when he starts speaking about uh, moving the USA embassy. Uh, to Jerusalem, the Muslims start making a threat, and you know the Muslim they make a threat anyway. <clears throat> you do, you don't do. <laughs> you are good, you are bad. It doesn't matter. And all of us we knew <clears throat> that uh, Jerusalem is not uh, a place to negotiate. You know whatever the Muslim they think, Jerusalem is not their land, and we will never let the Muhammadan have it ever, ever again. So, uh, and it's not even up to Trump or anyone. I mean, Trump decision is just uh, symbolic. Jerusalem, it's out of the hands, out of negotiation, and don't ever dream to take an inch of it. Now, the decision of a, of a Trump is important uh, because uh, that will encourage other countries uh, to move their embassy but I believe this uh, this decision should be made a long time ago before the Muslim population increase in Europe and now they have more uh, uh, like uh, pressure on European government this is why we see the puppy uh, there were the French president right away he start calling and asking Trump not to move the the USA embassy to Jerusalem uh, you know the French government they are uh, they have a lot of business with Muslims and same as the English uh, government uh, somehow they are like uh, you know business minded people and they are under under uh, the influence of money so uh, no Jerusalem should not be for the Christians Jerusalem should not be for the Christians that's not true Jerusalem is the land of the Jews and don't worry all the Jews will turn to be Christians sooner or later so we want to we need to be truthful and we do not we don't want to do the same as the abdul do jerusalem is a city built by the jews owned by the jews it is the land of the jews anyone he says something else is a hypocrite and he is not a truthful it is not the capital of the christians it does not belong to the christians and that's not true uh so what if the Trump of a Christ is there? You know, I, I don't like stupid talk anyway. You know, you know, please, if you are you want to speak stupid, leave. If the land is built by the Jews, so what if the Trump of Christ is there? Are you going to do the same as the Abdul? Is that your logic? The Abdul, their prophet, did not even go there. He saw a dream flying in the top of a mule, have two wings, and he do poo poo, and they claim Jerusalem belong to them. So if the Messiah, he was in Jerusalem and his empty tomb, it's empty tomb anyway. This is the land of the Jews. So don't be hypocrite, don't be stupid, don't be dumb. We are not the same as the Muslims. This is a land belong to the Jews and nobody should have it except the Jews. Now, uh, we, we should be willing even to go in war in order to prevent anyone having his hand in Jerusalem this is a red line and should not happen again the Muslims they took control of the Holy Land for a long time and even the Muslim books confirm that they themselves are the occupation and even the yellow pages of Muhammad the Quran confirm that this is the land of the Jews if we go in the Quran, 
you will see here chapter 5 verse number 21 the verse says it clearly with no question that this is a land assigned assigned from the God of the Abdul the God of the Abdul Bula Bula okay the God of the falafel he said that this is the land all oh, Musa's he said to who all oh, Musa's take your people and enter the holy land which is assigned for you so even in the book of the enemies of the Jews even of in the book of the terrorist it confirmed that this is the land of the Jews the one here the Quran speak about it is Musa's remember Musa's said to his people all oh my people call in remembrance of the favor of Allah upon you when he produced prophets among you and made you kings and gave you what he had not given to any other amongst the people oh my people enter enter the Holy Land which Allah has assigned into you so what do you want more proof that this is the land of the Jews even from the book of the potato the book of magic and fictions the book of a flying carpet and flying horses the book of a woman have a sperm coming from her ribs the book of God who says something then he forget it the second day but he could not forget that this is the land of the Jews so if a Trump moved the embassy or not that will not change anything but this is very important step for the rest to follow and actually USA should force all European countries to move their embassy and we can do that we can put sanctions actually if we want America is the most powerful country in the earth the whole world is a breathing through America this guy he should use his power for the best of the benefit of the truth so I don't understand why he is even keep talking about it just do it and who care who get angry and who care who care who get happy you get angry angry you get happy live with it if you don't go in war with us I want to see the Saudi announcing jihad on us I want to see Abbas announcing jihad on us I want to see the Palestinian announce jihad in let them dare why you want to discuss with anyone about it You see, leadership is very important. And the world can change. And right things can be done when you have a true leader. In Israel, they don't have a true leader. They have a potato. His name is Netanyahu. The idiot, he is afraid to attack Iran for the last many years when everybody knows that the Iranian, they have a plan to destroy Israel. And he is waiting for somebody else to fight for him and that will not happen so leadership is so extremely important to accomplish things you see if you look at the map if you look at the map israel right now actually they don't even have israel where is israel still the muslims occupy occupying most of their land if israel have a real leader all this land it's called it's called the west bank should be taken this is not the land of the what the, the, there is no Palestinian left there the, the you know those Muslims they came with Omar al Khattab all of us renew even the Muslims agree so this is the West Bank supposedly controlled it, it's almost almost bigger than Israel and I don't understand why the stupid Netanyahu don't take it who is going to be upset the West the East let them get upset this is your land you see if you look around you the Muslims have land is is is, is one million time bigger than all of Israel Saudi Arabia alone is a one million kilometer one million kilometer it's bigger than Europe 
and all of us we knew that this is not nothing to do with the Muslims this is the total land of the Jews so the Israeli they need to have a real leader they need to have a new David the new David should take not only the West Bank he should take back Jordan this is all is the land of the Jews all the way all the way to Sina this is the land of the Jews this is not the land of the Palestinian this is not the, there is nothing it's called Jordan what Jordan there's the river of Jordan but there's no country never exist a country it's called Jordan who is the last Jordanian king before this family those those Jordanian family you know that the capital Amman this is something established by the British the British they brought a guy he is supposedly descended from the family of Muhammad this is why he is corrupt and they made him a king in order to fight the Ottoman they destroyed the Ottoman Empire they established a new little tiny kingdoms and then he have a three kids one kid they gave him a, a Jordan the other kid they gave him Iraq the other kid uh, uh, gave him a, 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 a Syria so they divide this area territory to kingdoms but those kingdoms never exist so I hope that Trump he will stop talking I don't like the bubbles he do sometimes he act like a kid I want to see a real man doing a real work and I hope he will announce immediately that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel forever and this is the right thing to do now I have another news to talk about as I said I will try to keep this video short uh, the Chinese they found a huge field of oil now I don't know if you saw this news or not yet but this news is a disaster for the Abdul because right now USA is number one producer for oil in the world and now Israel they found a lot of oil and gas in the front of their borders so Israel itself became a producer for oil and gas and now the Chinese they found a lot of oil in their shores so that will have a huge impact in the oil industry so I will not be surprised if all those Islamic countries who depend on oils are going to face a bankruptcy sooner or later if the price of barrel will go under $30 that is that's it I mean cheese kebab they are gone you see those countries they have nothing you know do you know what 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 uh, who is making Jordan alive go right now and search you will find that the USA government gave this year just this year 489 million dollar assistant and they get the same from the West they curse us they say uh, infidels kuffar Allahu Akbar and they are uh, and most of the Jordanian by the way they are Hamas and Muslim Brotherhood they hate us to death but we are the one who feed in them and we are the one who give for uh, pay for their bread so USA should stop stupidity I mean why why Trump even uh, Trump he says that he want to bring jobs he want to uh, fix the economy and he want to do the right things why you are giving them half, half billion dollar why he is giving the Abdul half billion dollar give me a reason same to Egypt two billion dollar why they hate us they curse us America the big Satan Israel the small Satan and then we feed them we are the one who pay for their bread so the new discovery of oil in China which they are talking about astonishing numbers you can search for it right now in in Google that will change a lot because China is a big country which suck a lot of oil and most of their oil is coming specifically from the Middle East so China is a big spender in the Middle East which means most of the money of the Abduls is coming from the pocket of China and South Asia so if China will have enough oil for themselves or maybe they will have enough what to give to other countries we don't know they are speaking about more discoveries soon to come 
but they cannot announce uh, until they are you know sure about how much there is so uh, uh, and all of this happened because the American the new the new scientific way or let us say the new way to to discover oil uh, created by the USA uh, scientists uh, uh, made made it a lot easier to produce oil so the industry of oil is going to collapse and this industry which you know like will bring a disaster finally and the end of the wealth of the terrorist because all the terrorist attacks in the world you see is sponsored by one of two things drugs from Afghanistan and Pakistan and oil from Arabia Emirat Bahrain Qatar etc if the oil of the of uh, of uh, the, the price of oil drop in a very bad way for them good for us all the citizen of this earth because transportation will be cheaper your your pay you know you uh, you pay less for heating your house everything will be cheaper even your electricity should be cheaper so bad news for the abdul bad news about jerusalem bad news about the oil and yesterday the the ex president of uh, of uh, yemen he was slaughtered by the Shia Houthi in Yemen. Now this is will increase the fight between the Sunni and the Shia and will ignite the fire between them. However, I am not sad for 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 those people. Those people are satanic, and they have to be in war always. Otherwise, they cannot enjoy life. So they killed this guy yesterday in Yemen, and uh, his children are taking oath to revenge. So the Yemen is going to be inflamed more between the Shia and the Sunni. The Sunni, they are gathering armed and weapon and men uh, to attack, and the Shia are gathering men and money and weapon to attack. So things is going to go so good uh, in the kingdom of Satan. The kingdom of Satan is divided, and because this God is a God of love, uh, so they cannot stay without killing each other. And because Islam is peace, so the peace of Islam have to flourish everywhere, uh, wherever Muslims goes. And Yemen is just an example, the same as Saudi Arabia, the same as Somalia, the same as Syria, the same as Iraq, the same as Turkey, the same as Afghanistan, Pakistan, you name it. Wherever this cult, satanic cult goes, Satan establish war. And the Muslims, they think, by making and doing war, they can accomplish something. You accomplish nothing but your destruction. The money you have is gone with the fire you turn on. The war is eating the wealth of Saudi Arabia, the wealth of Yemen, the wealth of Emirat, the wealth of all Islamic countries. Name one is not destroyed and not suffering because of Islam while other countries and the world is flourishing with better economy structures for their countries and then now those countries cannot even have a proper electricity they cannot even have a proper sewage and then now in the in the most rich country in the Middle East Saudi Arabia the whole country does not even have a sewage go right now and type in YouTube flood in Jeddah flood in mecca flood in Raida, flood flood but this is the land which there's no rain in it so how in the world they are flooded if there is no rain because a drop of rain will make a flood there for there is no sewage so those countries they are, you know they are history you see even saudi arabia and there's there's a problem we don't talk about uh, they are suffering from big problem which is the water right now they are turning the, fre the the salty water into fresh water in order to supply themselves for the drinking water there's no more water but that make the water more expensive from oil now if the oil price became so cheap for how long those countries can afford to turn the ocean oil into uh, into fresh oil it's very costly it's very expensive those countries are dead countries 
as, as in actually if you look with me in Google you will see how what we are talking about it's a total desert you see there's no trees it's, it's a it's a cursed land it is a cursed land this is the blessed land in Africa you see the green and that is totally dead land this is where the Muslims are all this territory it's empty plain empty bold no trees grow no food no water oil will not feed you no more and oil is almost gone not gone necessarily by the uh, you know how much oil you have no but look like everybody having oil you are not the only one so uh, I wanted to share this uh, with you guys and I hope Trump soon will announce Jerusalem to be the land of uh, of uh, the final capital of Israel and as I said he announced it or not this is the final capital of Israel whoever he liked that or not this is the truth we showed you the proof from the books of the Muhammadan we, we can show you the proof from the Bible we can show you from books of history everything history the, the rocks of Jerusalem that I'm speaking telling the truth that this is the land of the Jews and anyone who don't want support to support the truth even if you are a Christian not necessarily a Jew if you are a Christian you have to be truthful and honest and we should defend Jerusalem and give it to the people who own it and those are the Jews all right so Trump he should do it immediately and stop blah 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 making phone calls acting like a kid it is time to do what you promise we voted for you for a reason and this is one of the reasons so you better do it to Trump and we are waiting for you thank you guys for listening we will be we with you tomorrow tomorrow is Wednesday at 4 30 p.m. subscribe and join with us and until then I say God bless Christ is Lord Islam is false and Jerusalem will never go back to the Muhammadan ever again Thank you and see you.